Hello, you guys. I hope you all are doing well. This is Relentless Renee, and I'm back again with another story. Um, This is about a 14-year-old Texas girl who was sentenced to 25 in years in prison for stabbing her best friend to death. A Texas teenager was convicted of stabbing her 14-year-old best friend to death last year after an argument over sleeping arrangements. Nylon Foot Lightfoot died at John Peters Smith Hospital in Fort Worth on May 29th after her friend, who has not <clears throat> been named publicly because she's a minor, stabbed her in the neck and chest during a fight. The young girl, who was 14 at the time, testified in court. She and Nyla met at school and became like sisters, but that they also fought like siblings. During that last fight, the girl testified. She said that she was going home for the night after a pool party because there were too many girls at Nyla's apartment for their sleepover and not enough room in the bed. The two fought over texts about a slamming door, about a slamming door. And then about returning clothes they had borrowed from each other. The girl accused claimed that Nala then showed up at her apartment around 2.30 a.m. and they fought again. At that point, she testified she went inside and got a kitchen knife and she threatened Nyla. I stabbed her. And I made the worst mistake of my life, the girl said. I wish I had been thinking clearly at the time. I pulled it out instantly and tried to stop her from running. The girl said she tried to stop the bleeding with a blanket and towels until her mother came outside and saw them. She claimed that she considered hurting herself after Nala died, but that her mother convinced her not to. After turning herself into into the police, the girl also told officers where she left the knife she had used to kill Nala. But prosecutors argued that the girl had issues with anger despite her claims that the stabbing was accidental. There is no arguing what her intent was. When she came outside with the knife, she was still in control. But not even her friend could stop her. She was only following through what she had threatened her twice with. The girl who faced up to 40 years behind bars was sentenced to 25 years in prison on Friday. She was served at the Texas Juvenile Justice Detention Facility until she's 19 years old. You spent her last, you spent her last birthday with us. Now this is the girl um, that was killed. Her mom is talking to the killer. I don't know how I come back from this. The girl's stepfather claimed that the trial was unfair because of, I guess, the predominantly white jury and all which they're trying to say um, race contribute to her getting the time that she did. Then it said the white teen who was sentenced to probation after he killed four people in 2013 while driving drunk. So, um, yeah, they're trying to say race played a part into his, his stepdaughter, which is 14 years old. She got 25 years. Each case is different. I do not do the race, race thing, and I don't even see by color. I really don't. We all is one. That's just how I see it. Um... This young girl, y'all, 14 years old, her life is gone. You got 25 years. Therefore, you're going to DJJ, which is what? A detention center for juveniles until you're 19. After that, you got the rest of your life. Really, you can say the rest of your life. She get out, what, in her 30s, 40s. But so what? That's a long time. Y'all, I just don't do jail. I cannot do jail. I'm allergic to jail. That's why I live my life correctly. I live my life as an adult correctly and by the laws of the land. And just like I try to tell my kids, I don't do jail, not temporarily or even permanently. But to the parents who are
are letting their kids go over to these so-called friend's house or best friend's house. This girl is, at the time she was 13, like, what are you doing out at 2.30 in the morning? In the first place, I wasn't even doing my own hair yet when I was 13 years old. But you can be back and forth, out in and out of the house when you feel like it, at 13 years old. So just imagine, you know, your young daughter is hanging out and, you know, that's just the last time you're going to see your kid because of a stupid argument where you fighting about a sleepover and somebody slamming the door. I mean, I understand these kids, these kids are so immature and that they just don't know anything about making decisions. I totally understand that. But my God, you stab and kill somebody, you that mad? So parents, you know, just think twice before you let your kid just do what they want to do. Because it could be just their last time doing it. I mean, this is crazy. Even though this young girl could have gotten 40 years, she got 25, but that's still a very long time. When I was coming up, my parents did not let me sleep over to nobody's house. She barely wanted me to go to family house. So let's just be mindful of our kids and just, you know, just just continue to teach them the right way. You know, I know we may be teaching them the, the right way and they kind of like do what they want to do. We all been there. But let's just continue to just pray for one another. And my God, we just got to do better. I mean, I just hate to see young people just throw their whole life away. And I know if she could, if she can turn back the hands of time, she would. But I feel bad for both parties. But y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Good afternoon. I'm Dan Godwin. A 14-year-old girl has been stabbed to death during a fight in Fort Worth. Fox Force Phil Alvarado is near the apartment complex where the girl lived. He joins us live with more on what happened. Phil? Well, Dan, uh, you know, police uh, tell us that, uh, you know, this uh, started as a fight. Uh, you know, their friends have been, uh, you know, sharing the news, consoling each other uh, on social media. The 14-year-old uh, was stabbed when uh, a verbal argument between two teenage girls turned violent when one of them went and grabbed a knife. A police report says uh, the fight happened about 4 in the morning. 14-year-old Nyla Lightfoot was taken in an ambulance to JPS Hospital where she died. Police say the stabbing happened in the 8,000 block of Peyton Lane in an apartment complex in South Fort Worth. A woman identified as Lightfoot's aunt didn't want to comment on what happened. A neighbor who didn't want to talk on camera says she advised Lightfoot to go home sometime before the stabbing occurred. The Fort Worth uh, School District says uh, Lightfoot was a former student at uh, Wedgwood Middle School, but uh, she hadn't been a student in the district since March of 2017. Now, police uh, are still investigating. We're told that detectives know uh, the other person that they're looking for, but it's not clear uh, if she is in custody yet. Dan?